Yo, what's going on you perverts? We are back. Today we are going to see how long it takes for an expansion team to win the Stanley Cup in NHL 23. Now we know the computers are absolutely amazing at building contending teams, so this video should be very quick, said no one ever. We're definitely going to be here a while. Alright boys, so right now we have the Alabama Burger Boys. Here's their home jerseys, the away jerseys, and the Game 7 jerseys. If we go to a Game 7, we will 100% be wearing these jerseys. They're going to be called the Black Raw jerseys, for no specific reason. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on notifications on so you don't miss a single upload and there we have it boys we have the alabama burger boys they will be playing out of incest arena we are going to be playing out of the central division i haven't mentioned already but i will not be picking the players for the expansion draft this is 100 on the computer to build a stanley cup contending team all right so heading into our first season this is what our roster is looking like as you can see we don't have any good players really other than jake debrusque and he's only a decent player at best brandon montour is our best player at an 86 honestly our decor is a lot better than our forward core and we have the absolute menace that is Jordan Bennington in net. And our backup is Jack Campbell. That is not a good look. All right, let's simulate our first year, boys. So predictably, we did not make the playoffs in our very first year. But honestly, we had a pretty good record overall. 38, 39, and 5 is not bad for a first year team. Tyson Berry would actually lead us in points with 63 points, 51 assists. Jake DeBrusque would have the most goals with 25. Shout out Johnny Hockey. Somehow Toronto wins the Stanley Cup in year number one. Austin Matthews takes home the Conn Smythe. Here is our roster heading into year number two we would end up picking up Tavo Teravainen first line is not looking too bad but the rest of the four core is pretty terrible and our defense stays mid somehow we picked up Ilya Sorokin in the offseason that is a huge upgrade again we would miss the playoffs we were pretty much the definition of mid Teravainen would have the most points on our team with 78 he would also have 30 goals Connor McDavid scores 64 goals Connor McDaddy Colorado wins another Stanley Cup you already know who the Conn Smythe winner is greatest of all time here's what our roster is looking like like heading oh my god we picked up Connor Bedard that is gonna help out a lot our roster is really shaping up good here boys watch out for the Alabama Burger Boys Bedsy the Alabama Burger Boys are finally in the playoffs. 38 wins gets a second in the Central. Teravainen would lead us in points with 77, followed by Connor Bedard. Welcome to the Bedsy Show. Nathan McKinnon continues to be the greatest player of all time. Nashville would absolutely beat us down like we owed the money. A clean 4-0 sweep. Washington would take home the Stanley Cup. Shout out Bedsy winning the Calder. Ovi would take home the Conn Smythe. Our roster is actually shaping up pretty nice. We have a very good first line. The rest of the team, on the other hand, I guess Sorokin left in the offseason. Missing the playoffs, finishing 7th in the Central. Travis Konechny actually led us in points with 82. Connor Bedard would have the most goals with 32. Shout out Pasta. Colorado wins another Stanley Cup. They're just too good at this point. Every single simulation I do, I swear. Gabriel Landeskog would take home the... Lannis Cog would take home the Conn Smythe. Honestly, we should be a way better team than we actually are. We have a very good first line. Defense is mid. Goaltending is actually pretty good with Allmark and Net. Alabama is back in the playoffs. Bedsy would end up leading our team in points with 96, and he had 49 goals. Hairline Matthews would end up having the most points. We would end up getting swept in round number two. And in game three, they beat us 12 to 1. So let me get this straight. We lost 12 to 1 to Arizona in a playoff game. That is embarrassing. Canucks would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Matthews would clean up on all the awards. Lady Bing Bedard. Quinn Hughes would take home the Conn Smythe. Here's what our roster is looking like in year number six. Our roster is really good. How on earth is Travis Konechny a 90 overall? I think it's about time we make a deep playoff run. The Burger Boys are back in the playoffs. Bedard would have the most points with 87 and 42 goals as well. Nikita Kucherov put up 68 goals. We would end up going to game seven in round number two with Colorado. And they will go on to win the Stanley Cup. Kucherov takes home all the awards. Landis Cog takes home another Conn Smythe. It is time to win a Stanley Cup now. The Burger Boys are really good. We are back in the playoffs for a second year in a row. Bedard would lead us in points with 72 and he had 40 goals. Shout out Trevor Zegers. At this point, we are almost as bad as Toronto is in the playoffs. We would get swept in round number one yet again. And oh my god, the Colorado Avalanche win another Stanley Cup. Three Stanley Cups in four years. Samuel Girard takes home the Conn Smythe. Here's what our roster is looking like currently. Some Somehow Bedard dropped down to a 90 overall. We have a 79 as our second line center. We would end up missing the playoffs. Connor Bedard would lead our team with 50 goals and 92 points. The Anaheim Ducks would take home the Stanley Cup. Trevor Zegers is your Conn Smythe winner. Somehow Connor Bedard won the Selkie Trophy. I guess we need to start riding him on D more. Pause. Our forward core is not looking too hot. I think we have a couple rough years ahead of us. And just like that, we are back in the playoffs. Connor Bedard would lead us with 49 goals and 93 points. Connor McDavid is still Connor McDavid. We would end up losing in the second round to
to Winnipeg, and the Boston Bruins would take home the Stanley Cup. Somehow everyone's favorite player wins the Conn Smythe. We are now 10 years in and we have done absolutely nothing. Zero playoff success and only a couple times we actually made the playoffs. The only good thing is that we still have Connor Bedard. At least we would still make the playoffs. Connor Bedard would lead us with 52 goals and 87 points. Okay, so let me get this straight. We would end up going down 3-0 to the Colorado Avalanche and then we would claw all the way back to a game seven where we lost five to four. This is just absolutely embarrassing. Colorado takes home another Stanley Cup. What is that, like four or five now? The greatest player of all time takes home the Conn Smythe. Here's what our roster is currently looking like. Our roster is not great, but it's not terrible either, I guess. Man, the computer is going to need to put in some serious work if we want to win a Stanley Cup. I think in franchise mode, you can only go up to 25 years and we are now 11 years in, so we're losing time and we would miss the playoffs yet again. Connor Bedard would lead us with 44 goals and 86 points. McDavid is still dominating. Washington would take home another Stanley Cup. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but he took home the Conn Smythe. Connor Bedard would end up leaving in the offseason, so things here in Alabama are not looking too great. Our team is not very good, and we lost our number one center. Another year of missing the playoffs? Our team was just absolutely terrible, and Bedard would end up leaving to go to Toronto. Man, that's sad. Shout out John Tavares. And the Washington Capitals go back to back. Adam Fox would take home the Conn Smythe. Our roster seems to be getting worse year after year. Well, there is one silver lining. We have AJ Pecker in net. He's only 22 years old. He's going to be the greatest goalie of all time by the end of his career. I guess some things never change. Again, our roster is not very good. Bedsy, you're an absolute snake, buddy. The Vancouver Canucks would take home the Stanley Cup. The Conn Smythe would go to Braden Yeager. Wow, I think my grandmother could build a better roster than this. We still have AJ Pecker in the net, who is now an 86 overall. The Alabama Burger Boys are still terrible. We are just not a good team. Shout out Jack Hughes. The San Jose Sharks would take home the Stanley Cup. Nick Suzuki would take home the Conn Smythe. All right, boys, we have some hope. We have Vic McMuffin on our team. He's a 90 overall and 27 years old. He is the one that's going to lead us to a Stanley Cup. Come on, Nick Muffin. You got this, buddy. Never mind. We are still absolutely terrible. McMuffin would lead our team with 39 goals and 89 points. I feel like EA just recycles like legends names. Curry, Forsberg, Wheeler. I don't even know what the hell that name is. New York would take home the Stanley Cup. McMuffin is nearly 91 overall. No, we got rid of Pecker and Nett. Somehow we still cannot make the playoffs. McMuffin would lead our team with 34 goals and 91 points. This is exactly what I mean. Camilleri, Terrence Camilleri. Really? I feel like EA just recycles the same exact names every year for like auto-generated players. The Tampa Bay Lightning would take home the Stanley Cup. We are still not very good. Okay, we have Alexi Brizgalov in net. He's a 90 overall, so hopefully he can carry us. Another year of missing the playoffs. McMuffin had 30 goals and 89 points, which would lead our team. Boston would end up winning the Stanley Cup. This team is getting very embarrassing, honestly. I don't know how, but we finished first in the Central with 53 wins. I guess we had a pretty good team this year. McMuffin would absolutely carry us with 54 goals and 100 points. I gotta be honest, I have no idea how we made it this far, but the Alabama Burger Boys are in the Stanley Cup Final. Please, for the love of God, do not choke this now. We have finally done it. The Alabama Burger Boys have finally won a Stanley Cup. I sat here for way too long to not see a Stanley Cup celebration. McMuffin takes home the Conn Smythe. Mr. Vic, you deserved it, buddy. Here is our captain, Vic McMuffin, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in our franchise's history. There's going to be a party in Alabama tonight, let me tell you. All the families are going to get together, and there's going to be a lot of babies being made. We are going to party Alabama style, baby. Yeehaw! I thought we were going to go the full 25 years without winning a Stanley Cup, but we are finally Stanley Cup champions. There you have it, boys. The Alabama Burger Boys are Stanley Cup champions. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And remember, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.